What's happening everybody? It's BT back doing another video. Thought I'd um, take some time out of my day since I'm shockingly off of some sort and talk about a topic that initially wasn't to be addressed but it's confirmed. Uh, I promised someone else I would do a video on their topic. I'm going to do that in another video because I tried doing it all in one video and it took 15 minutes so it didn't turn out as planned but anyway it is what it is. But in this video I'm going to do a comparison of two athletes and once and for all I'm not going to say I'm going to end the comparison but I'm going to validate why people look at it the way they look at it. Um, the, the, com the opponents of course are LeBron James and Kobe Bryant and the question is who's the better who's better now you gotta separate the two and look at it as to who how they're better in what category because both of them are great athletes great players great scorers whatever but it's two things that distinguish both of them and I'm gonna get into that in just a moment because we need to let, let's face facts and let's put it out there LeBron is a scorer but LeBron is also a passer. He's a teammate. He wants to make his guys around him better so that, you know, it's not like if Cleveland has a bad game or something comes up. I mean, you got to look at it. Here, here's the facts and here's the truth. LeBron's been in the league over five years, and he got his first game when he shot a few weeks ago. That tells you right offhand that it's not something that is a huge task or a huge priority to him like he wants to make he doesn't really feel like he has to be the star he naturally is the star because of how he plays but that's not his objective or his goal when he comes out and plays a the game then you got Kobe who I, I'm, I'm going to just come out and say it Kobe has what I define as like certified arrogance and I say that because Kobe is the type that feels as though, like he's, I mean, he's a good player. He gets his bat, he gets his points and all that jazz. But with him, it comes down to one thing and one thing only. If he doesn't have a good team around him or if he doesn't feel like he has a winning chance of making it, then he gives up. And he's done it numerous times. I mean, you look at the year, okay, last year they made it to the finals. The only reason they really made it to the finals was because he had a, he had help. Andrew Bynum was out for the season, and they picked up Paul Gasol in the midseason trade for practically nothing. They gave him away from some M&Ms and some Skittles at a first round pick. And I think what made it so frustrating is the fact that he was happy because they actually made it as far as they did with what they had. Um, go back to the year, you know, and everybody always does the. And everybody throws the nastiest card that I think has to be exploited now, henceforth and forevermore. Well, Kobe has three rings, LeBron has none. Okay, let's put it let's put it to put it to rest and put truth behind it. Kobe has how many has had how many role players and how many good teammates, let alone a true legitimate second score. Then you got to look at what really confirms it is the fact that. Whenever the Lakers made it to the finals and they won the championship, how many times did Kobe get MVP for finals MVP? How many times did Kobe get finals MVP? Just think about that. You know, you have the most dominant big center on your team. The same applies with, you know, with, now you can't compare that to Jordan because every time Jordan made it, if Jordan went to the finals and if they won, Jordan was their finals MVP, hands down. There was no... Well, Pippen did a pretty good job of Rodman. Or it was Jordan. Jordan was the reason that they got there. Jordan was the reason that everything went the way it did. You know, for Kobe, Kobe had a lot of attention drawn off of him because of Shaq. Now, a lot of people are going are gonna to leave comments and they're going to bitch and, and snap and fuss about what I have to say about this topic. But you have to look at the stats and look at how it played out. LeBron made it to the finals um, a year over a year ago. When they made it that year, you have to look at it as who did he have on the team? And they were playing against the Spurs, and you really expected them to make that a good series. I mean, you're looking at it like, gosh, this man ain't been in the year in the league that long, and to be able to carry a team that far is kind of 
surprising, but it was you know it showed that he can do it. So just pay you know just just bear in mind that the factors that you have to go against and what how you're comparing it to. If you're comparing it on championships, yes, Kobe has that advantage. If you're comparing it on experience, yes, Kobe has that advantage. If you're comparing it on the knowledge of the game, LeBron has learned the game a lot faster than Kobe has. Kobe is at that peak where he's really getting into his prime. LeBron still has yet to get to his prime, and he's still doing damage in the league. So just think about those things. I'm, I would love to hear your comments and your feedback. If anybody wants to make big, you know, make make nagging and irritating comments towards me about this video, you're more than welcome to. Um, I'm going to respond to everybody's comments the best way I can. Do not come on here. I'm going to tell you now. If you come on here making any racist or stupid comments, I will be leaving you personal messages and I will block you from not only leaving me comments, but also block you from my channel. So I'm just letting you know that now. So if you're going to waste, if you're going to spend time doing that, please don't. Um, let's make the conversation worthwhile and don't make it into a debate. Y'all be good. Stay safe. Look out for my next video, which will be in the next five, four, three. Two, one.